session on creating energy in the classroom. Um, one of the things I have found is that if as a teacher you are not enthusiastic about what you are teaching, it's very difficult to evoke enthusiasm from the student, particularly if you are teaching a core course. In an elective, it's a completely different story because students have chosen the elective. So when they come into the classroom, whatever may be the motives for having chosen the elective, they are engaged. However, in a core course, students don't choose to be there. They have to be there. So in such courses, I have found that my own energy levels have to be very high for me to keep the students engaged. What does this mean for you as a teacher? Okay. The first thing that it means in terms of implications is just that you will constantly be looking at ways to make what you bring to the table interesting and exciting for the students. I remember having a discussion with one of my um, colleagues uh, who said that we are not in the business of entertainment. I completely agree. But given today's digital context in education technology, I think we as faculty members should also look at our roles in terms of we are in the business of edutainment. Because a lot of students don't know in the core courses in particular, how what we are teaching them is actually going to help them in their future roles. So how do I actually stimulate that excitement in the class that the course that you're doing and the fact that these have been thought through in terms of core courses because we know that as business leaders, you will need them in the future. So some of the ways in which I have attempted to do this over the years, the first one that I do is seek expectations from the class. What would they like to take away from this core course? What do they know about the topic? Why do they think it could be potentially exciting for them? Please remember there is a flip side to this, okay? When you open up this conversation, there will be students and if you have that candidness of atmosphere in the class, there will be students who will say that their expectation is just to get good grades and clear the course because they are never going to do this course again, okay? Now, as a teacher, you need to have the ability to laugh it off because that's their reality at the time that they are coming into the course. They don't know better, yeah? So the first thing that I have found is just doing a stock taking, saying, what are your expectations and takeaways? Why do you think this course is likely to be important for you? And after that, I do persuasion. Okay, what, what does that mean? Um, I bring a video of a high impact business leader who's actually talking about the topic. Or I bring a controversial issue that's being debated in the media. Or I bring an acclaimed role model who has spoken about how if only they had focused on some of the aspects of what I teach in my course, they could have done so much better in their lives, okay? So all of these are really hooks to bait and persuade students that indeed it is worth investing in this course and you may not really kind of think about it now, but the fact that all of these leaders and these issues are coming out means that it's going to be important for you in the long run, okay? So the second one is how do I persuade and what methodologies do I use to persuade? The third one that I have found in terms of generating energy in the class is peer group. Students love small group activities. Just find the right question structure the right problem that you want them to discuss in the groups, send them out. If you find low energy in the class, break, send them out in breakout rooms, let them discuss. You don't have to talk. I think the traditional role of a teacher as knowledge disseminator, I think has disappeared with Google. So whatever we teach, whatever is in the textbook, they can always find it explained on Google. 
So what's our role as teachers? Our role as teachers is facilitators. And if we have to facilitate, we have to be able to create that energy in the classroom. Okay. And the last but the most important thing is how can you make your energize yourself in terms of bringing in what are the areas that you like best, your research into the classroom. What are the innovative things happening in the environment? Can you bring a guest to talk about it? What if there is a contemporary phenomenon that's happening has not yet been written into a case that can be analyzed, but can you just bring it as a raw case into the classroom to discuss? All of these are ways of making sure that students stay engaged. I think one of the reflections on how to keep the energy levels in the class going, after several years I have figured out that as we as teachers grow older, the students who come into our class remain 23. And therefore, the more we listen to them in terms of how they look at social media, how they look at film viewing habits, how they look at what's happening with music, what's happening in sports, a lot of these become fertile avenues for us as teachers to use in a very engaging manner in the classroom. So I think the, the message for us as teachers is how do you create energy in the classroom is possibly by remaining relevant to our students and possibly understanding the context they come from to make our classroom experiences more meaningful for them.